In this video, you'll see how to sell a downloadable file in WordPress with MemberPress. For my example, I have a sample baking recipe site here. And you'll see this link to purchase a recipe ebook. If I click it, it takes me to a registration page to sign up and purchase it. Once someone buys it, they'll be given a link to download the recipe ebook, which is a PDF file. So I'll show you how to sell this single ebook using MemberPress as just a very basic example. There are many different ways you can sell files on your site. As some examples, you can include files as part of a membership package. So when someone buys a membership, they'll have access to download all those files. Then you'd list the download links on a page, like on a members-only dashboard. Or you can include files like printable worksheets and guides inside of your paid MemberPress courses. You can sell pretty much any type of file you want with MemberPress. Ebooks, printable guides, videos, audio files, images, software programs, templates, and much more. So to show you how this works, I'll go to my WordPress admin dashboard. First, I'm going to install the MemberPress downloads add-on and upload my ebook. Then I'll create a membership in MemberPress to be able to sell the file. Then I'll set up a rule to protect it, so only those who paid for it can have access. I'll then link the file on my site so people who paid for the ebook can download it. To get started, you'll need the MemberPress plugin installed on your WordPress site before following any of these steps. And you'll need to link one or more payment methods in MemberPress. First, I'm going to install the MemberPress downloads add-on. This will let you upload and manage your files. I'll go to MemberPress here in the left sidebar and add-ons. Then I'll find downloads and click to install and activate it. Now I see this here for MemberPress downloads. I'll click on that and then click add new. I'm going to be uploading my recipe ebook, so I'll give it a name related to that. Then I'll click here to select it from my computer and upload it. And I can see that it's uploaded here. But it won't actually save it on your site until you select publish here, so I'll go ahead and do that. And now the file's on my site. Here you can see the URL for it. On this page, you'll see options relating to setting a download limit on the file, adding tags and categories for organization and file protection, allowing users to see the file directly in the browser, and much more. For a full overview of MemberPress downloads and all the options you have available here, see our knowledge base page and video tutorial on MemberPress downloads. So now I need to create a membership. I'll go to MemberPress and Memberships. Then I'll click Add New. I'll name this membership Exclusive Recipe Ebook. Then over here under Membership Options, I'll enter the price for the ebook, $199. Then I'll select One Time and give Lifetime Access. So once someone makes a one-time payment of $199 for this membership, they'll have access for life. Then I'll click Publish to save the membership. Now that I have a membership created, I need to make a rule that protects my file, so only those with the membership I just made can download it. So going to MemberPress and Rules, I'll click Add New. Then using this dropdown, I'm going to choose a single file. This will protect whatever file I choose here. There are a few different ways you can go about protecting files. So for example, if I had 10 or 20 recipe books that I wanted to be included with one membership, I could add a tag or category to all of them, and then here select file with file category or tag. This will protect all those files with this one rule. Or I could add a tag or category and do the same thing for just my one ebook. I could do this if I anticipate adding more ebooks in the future, or if I ever want to offer those who purchase my recipe book a bonus ebook or something like that. Protecting files with tags or categories makes things sort of more scalable for the future than just protecting individual files. But since I'm trying to keep things basic and I just want to show you how to sell one individual file, I'll select a single file here. Then in this field, I'll start typing the name of the file and then select it here. Then under Access Conditions, I'll select Memberships and choose the membership I created earlier for this ebook. Then once I'm done, I'll click Save Rule. Now, only those who've bought my membership have access to my file. Next, I need to provide a link to those who've made a purchase so they can download the ebook they paid for. There are many different ways you can get your downloadable files to your customers. You can email it, have a members-only dashboard, and much more. I'm going to insert a link to my file in two places to make it accessible to customers. 
Then I'll show you another way to link the file in the membership settings. I already have a page created on my site that I'll link my file to. So the first thing I need to do is grab the short code for the PDF file so I can insert the link on a page. I'll go back to MemberPress Downloads. Then under my ebook, I'll click Copy Shortcode. Then I'll go to Pages here in the left sidebar and find my page. I'll open it up. Then I'll paste the short code here. You'll notice I'm using the Divi Page Builder on my site, so if you're using the default WordPress Builder or another page builder, this process will look a bit different to you. But just paste the short code wherever you want the link to appear on your site. Then I'll save the page. Now I'm going to add this page to my navigation menu, but only display it when someone with my membership is logged in. I have the If Menu Visibility Control for Menus plugin installed on my site to be able to do this. So I'll go to Appearance here and Menus. Then I'll add my exclusive ebook page to the menu. Then, expanding the item, I'll click here to enable visibility rules. Then I'll show this menu item if active on this membership. See our knowledge base for more info on how this WordPress plugin works. Then I'll click Save Menu. Okay, one more step I'm going to take is adding the link to the ebook file to the thank you message users see right after they purchase the membership. So right when they make a purchase, they'll be able to download the file without taking any extra steps. I'll go to Member Press and Memberships. Then I'll go into my membership. And then here under Membership Options and the Registration tab, I'll enable Custom Thank You Page Message. Then I'll type a thank you message. And then I'll insert the short code for my ebook file. You can also click here to use a custom thank you page instead. So you can create a custom thank you message on a separate page and link your file, and then select it here from this dropdown if you want. But to keep things simple, I'll just use a custom message. Then I'll be sure to save the membership. Okay, now I'll show you one additional place you can link your file that's sort of more integrated into MemberPress. First, I'm going to go to MemberPress Downloads, and then click Copy URL under my file. Then I'll go to Memberships and click my membership. And then under Membership Options, I'll click the Advanced tab. And then here next to Membership Access URL, I'll paste the file URL. Then I'll click to save the membership. This makes it so users can get a download link on the registration page, as well as a link to the file in their MemberPress account page. I'll show you what this looks like when I do a test signup. And that's it. Everything's set up for users to buy my membership and download the recipe ebook. Now I'm going to open my site in a new incognito window in Google Chrome, so I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. So it's like I'm viewing my site as a brand new visitor. I'll test everything out to show you how this works. So here for my homepage, I'll click the link for the recipe book. And then I'll click to purchase it. I'll fill out my registration form with some fake testing data and a test credit card number and expiration date. Then when I click sign up, I'm taken to my thank you page, so I know the registration worked. And here you can see the custom thank you message with the download link. I'll click the link and you can see the files downloaded. And you'll notice here, since buying the membership, I'm logged in as my test user. And since I'm logged in, you can see the menu item for the ebook. I'll click that and I can download it again here too. Now I'll copy this page's URL to show you what this looks like when I try to download the file and I'm not logged in. So I'll log out of my site as the test user, and then paste the URL, and load the page. Now I'll click to download the file, and you can see that I'm taken to my unauthorized message, which I customized in the MemberPress settings. So I'm not able to download the file. Then I'll log in here with my test account, and then now I can download the file. Now I'll show you what the file links look like since I inserted the file's URL into the Membership Access URL in the Advanced tab of Membership Options on the membership. So logged in as a test user, 
I'll go to the MemberPress account page, which is your site slash account by default. And if I go to the Subscriptions tab, you can see a link for the file here. And if I go to the Payments tab, you can see it here too. And if I go to the registration page for the membership, which I have open here in a new tab, it displays this message that I'm already subscribed to this item and a link to download it. You've now seen how to sell digital downloads with MemberPress. See our knowledge base for more information about selling files with MemberPress and the MemberPress Downloads add-on. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.